Yes, toothpaste made from hair provides natural root to help repair teeth. Now, the couple of takeaways you have to look at in this title is what we're really looking at is keratin, which can be found in skin, hair, and of course, more peeling wool. Now, what this keratin does when you hear the word root is we're not looking at the root of the tooth. We're looking at it's basically the keratin helps establish a scaffolding which attracts the minerals to help repair the enamel, especially in the cases of early tooth decay, which is quite a remarkable study because the application of this keratin may be profoundly easy. So without further ado, let's get right into the study as follows. In a new study published today, scientists discovered that keratin, a protein found in hair, skin, and wool, can repair tooth enamel and stop the early stages of decay. Now let's look right at the raw data right here. Gives you a little bit of a pretense of what's actually in the study itself, but we simplified for you and here we'll look at a bar chart. Now a strong takeaway here is plastic resins, which is a pretty common treatment in regard to erosion. Look at the comparison of the keratin as opposed to the resins in this bar chart. Now also to be fair, this is not done in humans, this particular study. What they did is they take basically a tooth, they made one application, just one application of this keratin film. And then let's sit in an artificial saliva uh, solution for a 30 day period of time. So this is not a live study. This is basically an in vitro study in which they're using teeth as an example. And in this artificial saliva, with that one application of keratin, the results were quite profound. All right, so let's get right into the study a little more in detail. The treatment could be delivered through a toothpaste for daily use or as a professionally applied gel, similar to nail varnish. Again, for more targeted repair, the team is already exploring pathways for clinical application and believes that keratin-based enamel regeneration can be made available to the public within the next two or three years. What a far takeaway from many years ago when they said once your enamel's damaged, there's not much you can do. Now, it looks quite promising. In their study published in Advanced Healthcare Materials, the scientists extracted keratin from wool. They discovered that when keratin is applied to the tooth surface, it comes in contact with the minerals naturally present in saliva. Now you get the idea of why they let the uh, teeth soak in an artificial saliva solution for 30 days. It forms a highly organized crystal-like scaffold. Now you see the word root, how it takes place in the title and how it correlates, that mimics the structure and function of natural enamel. Over time, the scaffold continues to attract calcium and phosphate ions, leading to the growth of protective enamel-like coating around the tooth. This marks a significant step forward in regenerative dentistry. The researcher said as follows, quote, Keratin offers a transformative alternative to current dental treatments. Not only is it sustainably sourced, sourced, sourced from biological waste materials like hair and skin and wool, it also eliminates the need for traditional plastic resins, commonly used in restorative dentistry, which are toxic and less durable. Keratin also looks much more, looks much more natural in these treatments, obviously, as it could be more closely matched the color of the original tooth. It looks natural as far as helping repair the enamel. Now let's look at the other charts as follows to give you an idea. All right, the impact on nano harness, harness, hardness, which basically shows a tenfold improvement over nothing at all, obviously. And what they did here is use a tiny probe to measure the hardness beneath the enamel surface. It shows how well the tooth can resist pressure. Another amazing improvement as follows, the enamel stiffness. All right, so looking at the structural integrity. So this was six times better than the resin treatment. Again, one swoosh, 30 days, and basically an artificial saliva solution. But this shows how strong and resilient the teeth or tooth can be in this case. Quite remarkable. All right, now to bring to conclusion as follows. Beyond enamel repair, keratin-based matrices hold promise for addressing bony defects, dentine hypersensitivity, and erosive tooth wear with broad implications for dental and biomedical fields. 
the simplicity, scalability, and affordability of the system position Keratin as a resourceful platform for advanced, sustainable, clinically feasible, regenerative strategies in the tissue engineering and structural biomimetics. Now think about this, just something which is applied to, or should say incorporated into a toothpaste so easily and so functionally. Now you're just talking one application and then two sitting 30 days in artificial saliva. Can you imagine year after year after year, how that possibly could benefit without it introducing publisher bias, people as a whole and maintaining that enamel strength, pretty, pretty phenomenal. All right, so let's look at the takeaways as follows. Uh, before I look at the takeaways, this is the methodology and the character in production that they utilize. Different types of carrots, as you can see, there's low sulfur, high sulfur, and high glycine tyrosine uh, type characters all rolled into one. Now, also too, to simplify it, here we have it. Keratin scaffolds for enamel and regeneration. You can take the takeaways from there in the application that they use in the methodology. But again, pretty simple, but pretty profound in that impact, especially compared to the standard treatments of plastic resins. And again, phenomenal overall, just phenomenal. Gratitude to the researchers for such a simple, simple, but yet, uh, how would you say impactful discovery in regard to just keratin? I know a lot of you are going to think about hair a little differently when you're finding your food per se, gross, but just the same, that keratin has extra yielded benefit. So thank you for the research. Gratitude. I am humbled you watch and look forward to what amazing discoveries you and I find next week. All right, catch you all next time. See you there. Bye.